I got two words for you, auto smooth. Possibly the most annoying change in Blender since Ice Age. Let me show you. Shade smooth and auto smooth and shade flat are all basic operations in Blender and you need to know them. They are foundations of almost any workflow in Blender. So now if you're new to Blender and you're still confused about anything, you don't even know what I'm talking about, then by all means go ahead and grab our free course which is called Jumpstart Hard Service in Blender which will teach you all the foundations and basics, all the menus, everything you need to know in just a few hours about Blender and get you a really nice head start in terms of hard surface or Blender in general. We have over 80,000 students who are really liking the course, they're loving it and they're getting fantastic results. So go ahead, grab the link in the video description. Like I said, the course is free. Now let's get back to Auto Smooth Disaster. Blender 3.0 and above introduced a change to Auto Smooth, where Auto Smooth is being added together with Sheet Smooth, which was a fantastic change because it removed one click. So let me show you. If I'm going to add a cylinder here and I'm going to right click and Sheet Auto Smooth, it will add both Sheet Smooth and Auto Smooth with one click. So if I go here to data panel, you can see on the normals, we got the auto smooth. I can toggle it on and off and my mesh is shaded smooth. So if I shade it flat, I'm back to cylinder. And that was fantastic because it actually removed one click from the process. Now, Blender 4.1, don't fucking ask. Uh, so let me show you, yeah. Um, if I'm going to add a cylinder now and I'm going to go here to shade smooth by angle, because of course it needs to be a new name, what's going to happen now, Blender is going to shade it smooth, but also it's going to add sharp edges. So if I go to edit mode, you can clearly see that we got these sharp edges added. And if I'm going to remove them, right, so I'm going to clear sharp, we're going to be back to shade smooth situations. So if I shift D this and shade it flat, right, this is basically the same cylinder, but shaded smooth. So it does fuck all. That's the bottom line, okay? So what they want you to do now, they want you to um, add this through a modifier, but this actually creates new problems. So let me show you. So if I go here to modifier and go to normals and add smooth by angle, nothing happens, technically. But if I toggle this ignore sharps, you know, you're gonna see that now we have a proper auto smooth and shade smooth turned on. Now this does another thing, it actually ignores any sharp edges added by you manually. So if I'm going to go to face mode, inset this and you know add a sharp edge here like this and mark it sharp, if I'm going to toggle it on, you can see that this edge is not showing. So if I shade it smooth here, you can see that this edge is shaded sharp, but if I'm going to ignore it, you know, Blender is going to ignore it. So that's a cool thing, but you know, again, you need to deal with the modifier. So let me show you the problem with it, okay? So if I'm gonna be using modifier, and let's say I want to now add a bevel, okay? So I'm gonna go here to generate. By the way, this menu fucking does my tits in. Now you see the problem is that every single time you add a modifier, you need to move it in a specific location. And the shade smooth by angle is gonna be another modifier you need to take care of in terms of the order of modifiers in your stack. So I have to move the bevel above the modifier in order to make this work. So if you're going to add a weighted normal to the equation, as you should, in order to fix the old flat um, surfaces on your mesh, you're going to have to make sure that this weighted normal modifier is below shade smooth by angle, because if it's not, again, it's going to be a problem. So now you have two modifiers that you need to take care of in terms of order in a modifier stack, which is fucking irritating. And this is why you should be using add-ons like hard ops because or box cutter, because they will do this thing for you automatically and save you a lot of time and probably a lot of visits to a fucking therapist. So let me show you how this is done with hard ops and box cutter. So let's grab a cylinder, go and go to Q menu, add the bevel and we're done. So it's just going to add a modifier here in the bottom, set it to ignore sharpness and you know Bob your uncle so basically hard ups and box cutter gonna do it for you automatically and they're going to keep this modifier in the proper location so if i'm now gonna for example add weighted normals boom we're gonna go in the bottom yeah so you know don't be daft get the add-ons and enjoy life thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one.